Hello, this time I will present you how to build a very simple metal detector. Despite its simplicity, it has a relatively good sensitivity and perfect stability during operation, so that, the, that there is no need for any calibration even during a long, long time of operation. Also, the dimensions and inductance of the detecting coil are not critical, and most importantly, it will surely work for you immediately after make it. This makes it an uh, ideal, ideal metal detector for beginners. Basically, the project was taken from the silicon junction block and I just added a sound indication for better control during metal detections. The detecting part is a simple culprit oscillator with a resonant circuit composed of capacitors and surge coil. This oscillator will, uh, will have a frequency of approximately 260 kHz. The complete device consists of several components. Arduino Nano Microcontroller, BC337 or similar NPN transistor, several resistors, 5 capacitors, uh, 1 Zener diode, 3 LEDs, buzzer and search coil. Zener diode D1 is used to limit the voltage on the Arduino pin to save 4.3 volts and C5 and R4 uh, ensures the output of the oscillator is referenced to ground. Any coil with an inductance around 200 to 400 microhenry should work and you should try and keep uh, the resistance fairly low. This will give you a frequency around 200 to 400 kilohertz which falls within a range of the Arduino can handle. I used a coil with a diameter of 20 cm and contains 25 turns, but detector also uh, work uh, quite correctly with two concentrically placed coils with a diameter of 12 and 23 cm, both of which had 25 turns and are connected in series. The Arduino code counts every 100 milliseconds how many pulses have occurred and stores this as baseline. In the main loop count how many pulses occurred in 100 milliseconds and store this as a count. If count has changed from the baseline, it turn on a LED and activate the buzzer. This means that the detector is calibrated conti conti continuously every 100 milliseconds. The code is relatively simple thanks to the free count library which you can also download from the given links. The advantage, the advantage of this type of the code is that in order to the, uh, for the device to work, no adjustment or calibrations need to be made. But the downside is that in order to detect the metal object, uh, there, are, there needs to be movement of the object in relation of the coil or vice versa. And now let's look at how the device works in real condition.
The following is a brief description of how the device is made. 